Well, 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 Kentucky fans. Looks like your beloved coach Calachiti is up to his old antics again. This time trying to bring in professional basketball players to Lexington. Of course, I'm sure everybody by now has heard the news. Big man, seven foot center from Turkey. All you wild kitty fans up there were all goo goo gaga about this guy. And as Cantor, well, it turns out that he was a professional basketball player in Turkey. And this isn't just a rumor or something from a source. This is directly from the general manager that paid him. The GM of whatever Turkish professional team out there, you know, is the man that wrote him the check. He's the one that's saying this. So uh, that's pretty incriminating. Wildcat fans, hard to look past something like that. You guys in Kentucky, you love your one and done players, but this guy is a none and done. He's a none and done. He's never going to step on that Kentucky, Kentucky basketball court. He's never going to play in Rupp Arena. He's never going to suit up for you guys. He's already done. You know. I know all you uh, Kentucky fans, you're all worshiping the, guy, the ground that Calipari walks on, you know, acting like he's Jesus Christ, you know, eating up every word he says, drinking the big blue Kool-Aid, you know, but he's going to do you no good, Kentucky fans. He's not going to do your program any good at all, okay? Even if you get back to the Final Four someday, it's just going to get vacated. I mean, the man, the only man in NCAA history to have not one but two Final Four appearances vacated from two different teams. You know, that's saying a lot. That's a pretty, that's quite an accomplishment, you know, in a negative way. To have two Final Four appearances vacated. And we all tried telling you about this guy. You know, we tried telling you about him. The uh, Memphis Tiger High fans tried telling you about him, but nobody listened. You know, I thought Kentucky was past its cheating days back in the 80s when you guys got in a bunch of NCAA shit. You know, got put on all kinds of penalties in the 80s. I thought you guys were past that until you brought this guy in. But live with him or die with him, baby. He's going to do your program no good. He's just going to bury your program and start shoveling dirt all over the top of it. So, Kentucky fans, I'm calling you out in this video. You're nothing but a bunch of cheaters, Kentucky. Big Blue Nation, you're a bunch of cheaters. There you go. Everybody out there in Lexington, all the Wildcat fans, you're pointing fingers elsewhere, trying to blame everybody else for your problems, but the only problem is yourself, Kentucky. You know? You know this guy's reputation. You know he's no good, but you brought him in, and now you worship him. So, here in a few years, we'll look back and we'll see what happens. And, wow. Could be devastating for you guys. You know, I know, I know there's not going to be any penalties because this guy hasn't played for you yet, but like I said, something's going to happen because this guy is no good. He is no good at all. You know, I know it's uh, <clears throat> football season's just got underway. Everybody's excited about that, including myself. You know, but you, you Kentucky fans, you love talking about your basketball, you know, all year round, just like I love my Tennessee basketball. But you're nothing but a bunch of cheaters, Kentucky fans. I'm calling you out. Every one of you. So cam up. Cam on up. Defend your beloved Jesus Christ coach up there. You know, you act like he's, he's God. You know, cam on up and defend him. Let's hear what you got to say. Because you're nothing but a bunch of cheaters. That's all I got. Go Vols.